Is my mind a sanctuary? Uh, that question came into my head the other day. Is my mind a sanctuary? And I thought, well, what's a sanctuary? And it's usually a spot where we have worship. But then what makes that spot or that room or that place a sanctuary? Well, it's not the activity that we do there. And it's not the way that it's built or it's decorated. What makes that room or place a sanctuary is the presence of God. So it's the presence of God in a place that makes it a sanctuary. So in my mind, I started thinking, now, it's not really a place like we normally think of a place, but it is something that gathers information and it's a place to store information. And so it's not tangible of what we put there, but there are things that we put there. And then I started thinking about, well, God's not really tangible either, but my mind is a place that can hold things. And since God isn't tangible, he can probably fill that place. So can my mind be a sanctuary? I'm going to say yes, because it's a place where God can dwell. And then I start looking at some of the scripture passages that I'm supposed to have the mind of Christ. And matter of fact, here in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, those who follow Jesus says, we have the mind of Christ. So my mind is a place where Christ dwells. And I'm to love the Lord my God with all of my mind. So can my mind be a sanctuary? Yes. Do I want it to be a sanctuary? Because a sanctuary is something that is set aside for a specific purpose. And so do I want to set up my mind aside for the specific purpose of God? Filling it with his knowledge and his wisdom and his presence so that I may think the very thoughts of God and then begin to live according to those thoughts. Is my mind a sanctuary? Well, it certainly has a capacity to be that very thing. So I wanna ask you, is your mind a sanctuary? Has your mind been set aside for God and for his purposes? Fill it with the presence of God, fill it with the word of God, and let's see what happens. May our minds be sanctuaries that honor God.